I'm Saper Lahi, and I'll be presenting my EE 102 project, which is plate recognition via Basis 3 and a computer. So I wanted to utilize the parallel computing features of an FPGA, and that's why I chose a project that includes lots of image processing and data handling, which allows me to parallelize this uh, <coughs> data handling and image processing in order to dramatically speed up the the process. So the way it works is that I have a 0.3 megapixel camera attached to the basis 3 and this camera records videos, uh, video at 30 frames per second in RGB and it stores each frame on the frame buffer which is essentially VRAM of the basis 3 and then I, ha I transfer this video to the computer. Now the problem is due to the limitations of UART I have to first convert this RGB frame to grayscale. Now, not only does this allow me to transfer the data at a faster rate, because well, in grayscale you only have 8 bits, but when it comes to RGB you have something like 24, or in this camera more specifically 16 bits. So not only does it allow me to do that, but it also allows me to get done with one of my image processing algorithms. Now after this frame is transferred to the computer, the computer performs the rest of the image processing algorithms which include Gaussian filtering, bilateral filtering, and Sobel edge detection, and finally contour detection. Now, after the computer does all of this, it detects the region of the plate, so the rectangle where the plate, uh, where the plate is, and then it performs character recognition to actually detect the plate number. So let's see how it works. So I've written a little Java application that gets the binary uh, data from the camera from the basis 3 and then decodes it into grayscale image so you see the image is displayed here. Now when I point it at this printed photo of a, of a car, you see it immediately detects the plate, it crops the region, this is the plate region, and then it does character recognition to detect the, <clears throat> recognize the plate number. Let's try it with a different car. You see all it takes is a few seconds and the program immediately detects it. Let's try another one. So in this one, I'll use this feature that I added to my um, system, which allows for taking photos. So once I toggle the switch here, you see I put the camera down, but the same photo stays. You see the camera is placed here and the switch is toggled, but the same photo that was saved on the frame buffer keeps uh, being sent to the computer. Let's try one last one. Yeah, so as you see, it detected all the plates, <coughs> all the plate numbers correctly.